Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Iowa Realty Sunday Home Show. Mike Pace is my name, and we're kicking off the show from one of our favorite destinations, and that is Fifth Street here in Valley Junction, West Des Moines. This unique neighborhood really does have a hometown feel to it with lots of terrific shops, bars and restaurants, and lots of art galleries. And it's famous for events throughout the year, wonderful events for the entire family, including gallery night, which is coming up this Friday night, April 19th. It's free, and we'll meet up with Larry Castor, who's Director of Marketing and Events for the uh, Valley Junction Foundation, and we'll get some particulars on gallery night. And whenever we go south of Grand on the show, we know we're in for some charm with this prestigious, sought-after neighborhood. And today, Sarah Summy from Iowa Realty's flagship Beaverdale office will give me a tour of this 1920s historic Tudor-style home that is absolutely oozing with character and charm and history. And it's priced at $598 with more expensive homes in the neighborhood, and Sarah will be open from 1 to 3 this afternoon. Of course, we'll mix in some Iowa Realty listings as well as open houses you can visit this afternoon. So put some dark roast in the curry and let's get it started in West Des Moines. We begin in West Des Moines with Sachi Cholera in a five-bedroom home, walkout ranch on the cul-de-sac, the Cadbury plan from Paramount Destination Homes. Those tall windows, gourmet kitchen, wonderful features, $699.9. Sheila Thomas from Iowa Realty with open house today, four bedrooms, five baths here. Again, more than 3,100 square feet. Open house, one to three. Close to the Milwaukee Public Schools, beautiful neighborhood park nearby, a lot of great features here, $599. Rick Wanamaker, open house one to three, three bedrooms and three baths. This is Glen Oaks, actually the Greens townhome neighborhood in Glen Oaks. Three bedrooms, three baths, backing up to the golf course, big square footage, 565. Here's the model home at Covenant Cove Townhomes in West Des Moines. Scott Steelman with open house one to three, three bedrooms, four bath areas. This model is loaded with about $50,000 in upgraded items. It's move-in ready. Wonderful two-story, 370 and change. Here's another one that you can see with Scott today. He'll be there one to three. The Builder CCS, two-story townhomes, several that you can see different plans. And this one priced at 320900 on Crestview Drive. Next up, Sharon Rooney in Waukee. Four bedrooms and three baths. The Builder here, SJ Home Builders. Half acre or a little more. Wonderful spot, 4,000 plus square feet. A grand entry, nature knocking at your back door at a price of $1,079,000. Brandon Wynn from Iowa Realty with open house one to three, five bedrooms and three baths, the builder, Paramount Destination, the Pinehurst Ranch Plan, nice and open, big great room with fireplace, pantry in the kitchen, good square footage, six sixty nine nine. Jim Manderfield, open house on the early side, noon to two, four bedrooms and three baths, nice ranch, the reserve at daybreak is the neighborhood, Sparkling white kitchen, no neighbor directly behind you, and it's priced at $639.9. Terrific ranch. Jim Wilson in Waukee just listed the Fillmore Raised Ranch Plan here with 1,800 square feet, two living areas, family room in the lower level, plenty of storage, security system, three bedrooms, three baths for $379.9. Kelly Hartzler in Waukee, three bedrooms, three baths, a contemporary townhome. Nearly 1,900 square feet, immaculate condition, on the end for extra privacy, a lot of natural light here. Spacious primary bedroom, good location, 299.9. Open house with Jenny Willie, one to three, three bedroom brick ranch, fully fenced backyard, well-established neighborhood, walking distance of the Triangle in downtown Waukee, schools, Grand Prairie Parkway nearby, and a price of 271.9. Some nice updates. Sharon Rooney in Urbandale with five bedrooms and three baths. MJ Custom Homes, the builder. Wonderful walkout ranch, 3,300 square feet here. 10 foot island in the kitchen, walk in pantry, gas fireplace, wonderful primary suite, 679. Susie Mahoney now with open house one to three in the Woodlands. Luxury neighborhood, walkout ranch, the end of the cul de sac, backing up to a six and a half acre greenbelt, 3,400 plus square feet, 675. Sachi Kalra, Urbandale address, lots of updates here, including the interior walls and ceilings have been painted, three-quarter inch maple floors added, triple garage, a lot of good features for 
Condominium living in Urbandale, two bedrooms, two baths. Greg Weinshank from Iowa Realty, double garage here. Kitchen is spacious, family room with vaulted ceilings, wood-burning fireplace, comes with an HSA warranty. Two bedrooms, one could be an office, 162. Chris K. now as we go to Johnston, four bedrooms and four baths. He calls it a transitional two-story, primary suite with a big walk-in closet, jet tub, hardwood floors throughout the main level, daylight windows downstairs, 540. Cheryl Corbett in Johnston, four bedrooms and three baths. Nicely updated two-story here on the cul-de-sac. Big remodel, new kitchen with island, new flooring and trim. Uh, the half bath, the family room, lots of updates, 442. Tina Lee now as we go to Grimes and the snow is gone, by the way. This is Beaverbrook and a four bedroom, three bathroom home, split bedroom floor plan, open concept, 2,300 plus square feet uh, and a price tag of just 420 in Grimes. Three bedrooms, three baths, BJ Knapp in Grimes, brand new listing, a standalone townhome, Camus Park, a big eat-in kitchen, dining area, sunrooms, a nice feature, a uh, spacious primary suite, walk up wet bar 3849. Nick Scar calls it a showstopper. Check it out. Five bedrooms and four baths in Clive. Grand entry, ceilings uh, go way up, wall of windows, gourmet kitchen, finished walkout, lower level, salt water pool, and much more. Two million nine ninety five. Tiffany DeHaan with five bedrooms and five baths in the Woodlands. Immaculate, fully renovated, story and a half here, no expense spared, smart home integration. All the uh, updates, including a new metal roof and lots of style, a million four ninety nine nine ninety nine. And Sharon Rooney and Clive, five bedrooms, three baths. Terrific wall of windows here for some natural sunlight. Great kitchen, spacious private owner's suite. A lower level finished. SJ, the builder, SJ Home Builder, six forty nine. And Jamie Smith, do the math. Good price of three fifteen here at Country Club Glen, townhome living, great location. It's in excellent condition, good sized bedrooms, uh, 2,300 plus square feet for 315. Well, I'm here with Larry Castor, who is Director of Marketing and Events for the uh, Valley Junction Foundation. And here we are at Kavanaugh Art Gallery and Larry, uh, I want to get an overview of, of j the junction if people aren't familiar. The art galleries are one element along with restaurants and bars and great shops. I mean, this is, a, this is like a neighborhood hometown feeling, the v Valley Junction. Yeah, we're really lucky to have um, a diverse um, you know, ty types of businesses here and um, including you know, ones you can just go buy retail or you can uh, you know, see arts, you can experience things. There's a lot of experiential businesses along with all the food and drink too. Well, you know, Kavanaugh has been here since 1987, 4,500 square feet here. And if you've never been in the building, you just can't believe the inventory. It's absolutely amazing. And Dan, uh, to your left, you'll see the framing area here. And I had no idea that they, did, they even did framing here, but they do quality, high quality framing with real wood. And uh, that's something to keep in mind about Kavanaugh. And it's one of like eight, I believe, uh, art galleries here, right in the junction. Yeah, art, there's eight art galleries that are um, part of our upcoming gallery night. Um, there's a couple that um, wouldn't really make the gallery uh, category on but a they regular basis. Do a little pop up art. Exactly, yeah. 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 Well, uh, events like gallery night are, are really what uh, Valley Junction is famous for, you know, whether we're talking about the farmer's market or music in the junction, Christmas in the junction or the sidewalk sales, arts festival. I mean, this is, this is where it happens, and it's just. Uh, it's great for the, the entire family, and Gallery Night's a good example. Yeah, that's right. We have uh, 60 to 65 free family events um, every single year. Wow. Yeah, and um, they're mostly outdoors. Uh, some of them are indoors. And uh, the next one is Gallery Night, so it's this Friday, 5 to 8 p.m. There are eight galleries involved. Uh, all the way from the 100 block all the way up to the 500 block of Fifth Street. Well, and we have to use that four-letter word, it's free. And as I mentioned before, you're going to see local, regional, national, and international art, uh, including pottery. We're at Kunzler Gallery right now at 324 Fifth Street. Uh, this is an award-winning gallery, uh, uh, Gallery of the Year, I think, in one uh, survey, and also Artist of the Year. So, and they do a ton of pottery here with classes available. 
Yeah, um, this uh, this is like really like one of the flagship stores that we have down here in Valley mm -hmm. Junction. Yeah. Um, and we love it that they're involved in gallery night every year. They bring a ton of people. People love coming out here to see their showroom and also, um, you know, the studio in the back yeah. too. Well, it's again that neighborhood feeling, uh, hometown kind of feeling in the Valley Junction. And we do hope you'll get the family together, enjoy gallery night, maybe grab some dinner with the family at one of the terrific restaurants. Larry, thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. This is Des Moines and Sean Cooney, open house two to four, three bedroom home, has a detached double garage. It's on a dead end street, so it's very quiet, minimal traffic, close to shopping and dining amenities, good price of 190. Next up, Joey Plummer, four bedrooms and four baths, brand new roof on this all brick two story. It's move in ready, 3,300 plus square feet. Joey will be there from one to three, by the way, to answer your questions. Great location, and again, that price 405. This is Altoona, open house one to three. Shelly Smith, four bedrooms, three baths. Nearly new hardy plank siding here. Big kitchen with hardwood floors, they're new. All the kitchen appliances included. Bedroom with French doors, a lot of great features for 525. Steve Camarona, two bedrooms and two baths. A fully updated ranch, Beaverdale location. New roof, new gutters, kitchen and bathroom been redone. New paint, new flooring throughout. New heating and cooling, it's basically new, 2099. Jerry Steenhook now, and the owner here uh, has been there for 60 years. Time for a new owner. It's a quiet, uh, low traffic street south of Grand. Better than 1,600 square feet here. Four bedrooms, two baths. Price tag of $399. BJ Knapp wants to go downtown with you. Remarkable views. Waterfront condominium living. Check out the river, the red pedestrian bridge, the Capitol. Open concept, home office space available. Private suite is a nice one, and a price of $440. Steve Camarona, two bedroom homes, gonna make you say, why well, rent? Everything updated, the paint, the carpet, the roof, air conditioning is new, the yard partially fenced, ready to move right in at 184.5. Greg Weinshank asks the same question, a price of 170 for big square footage. This home could be rezoned, you need to ask the question. It sits next to the Grub YMCA, uh, priced at 170 with 5,700 plus square feet. We go to Pleasant Hill, Heather Rollins with three bedrooms and three baths. Townhome living on the end here for extra privacy. Right off Highway 5 bypass, big windows, a lot of natural light. Tax abatement on this property, 249.9. Steve Camarona in Ankeny with three bedrooms and three baths. Nice ranch in the 36 West community. Uh, of course, clubhouse, pool, pickleball court, open floor plan. Nice size the island in the kitchen. Primary bedrooms, a big one. And a price tag here of 290. Sarah Sumi with our special feature home this week. We'll have a closer look shortly. Stay with us for that. Four bedrooms, four baths, Tudor style, historic 1920s home in the Salisbury Oaks neighborhood, South of Grand, 598. Julie Campbell, five bedrooms, two baths, plush new carpet, a nice kitchen with timeless white shaker cabinets, an abundance of windows, privacy fence in the backyard and a price tag of 270. Jamie Talari, four bedrooms and three baths. Southeast Polk School District here, meticulously maintained a new listing. Finished lower level, double garage, big living room with fireplace, uh, plenty of uh, storage. It's been well cared for, 310. Joe Henry with a three bedroom, two bathroom home. How about some amazing savings here with a 10 year property tax abatement. Do some arithmetic, it's amazing. Close to parks in downtown, Martin Luther King Jr. Expressway, 290 the price. And Stephanie Wright with three bedrooms and three baths, an immaculate two-story with a view of the pond, brand new listing. Of course, you get those great Ankeny schools, the lakes and the parks nearby, quick commute to the city, 289.9. Well, 
I'm here with Sarah Summy from our Beaverdale flagship Iowa Realty office. Nice to see you, you and work too. with you. And we're in one of the unique homes south of Grand, and there are lots of them. Yes. Um, and this is one of the amazing Tudor style homes from the 20s, I think? 1923. Yeah. Well, again, so much character and charm, and the words that I used at the top of the show were uh, the history, the craftsmanship, and that character and charm that's just everywhere evident this, in this neighborhood. Yes, yes, it's a beautiful neighborhood. There's so much to do. Um, we're walking distance or bike ride away from the Ingersoll area with restaurants and bars. You're walking distance from um, several elementary schools, so mm -hmm. it's a great family neighborhood. And it's just so tucked away. And it's like you said, these houses are just so full of charm. Um, and this one's no exception. Well, and at 598, that's our list price. Uh, that's under assessed value, first of all. And second of all, uh, there are million dollar plus homes close by in the neighborhood, which does nothing but pull your value up, right? That's right, that's right. There are two other ones currently listed in the neighborhood, both over a million dollars. Um, so this one's great value. 598 and uh, 2,800 plus square feet. And we're gonna have a look around. Okay, sounds lead great. The way, lead the way. Thank you. Sarah, obviously the, the charm is here, the character is here, but what about the updates and modern amenities? Because someone who's gonna move into a 100 year old home wants to know that uh, it's 21st century living. Yes, yeah, this house has been very well cared for. The kitchen has been updated and all four of the bathrooms are mm. modern updated, including the main bathroom on the second level. It was just in the past two years completely renovated and enlarged. You know, and we're a little early on the spring yeah. uh, this year. So far, we're not seeing a lot of the growth of these beautiful trees and plantings, but these windows, uh, throughout this main level really show it off. Yeah, there's great light and there's tons of perennials all around the yard in the spring when it comes in and these trees fill in and you feel like you you just have an abundant amount of privacy. Yeah, I want to see your favorite room, which I, I know is upstairs in the attic. It is. Let's take a look. Okay. Sarah, how cute is this? I mean, this, I see why this is your favorite part of the home. It is adorable. It's oh, it just perfect is. Perfect for kids, guests, grandkids with the two built in twin beds and the adorable window seats. Exactly. Just really, really cute. And um, let's talk about the, the nuts and bolts of the home the yeah. four bedrooms and four bath areas. Right. And total square footage again? It's just under 2,700 square feet. Okay. Um, 2,900 with the finished basement. Ah, and we have a, a home site here of about four tenths of an acre, a little more. So uh, again, that privacy will be more evident once the, the plantings begin to fill in and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But then the proximity to the Arts Center and downtown and Ingersoll shops and everything, it's just a really nice There's package. There's so much to do around here. And if you didn't catch us earlier when we talked price, 598 South of Grand, uh, Tonawanda Drive in Salisbury Oaks, with million dollar homes in the neighborhood is pretty hard to beat. And Sarah will be here from one to three today to answer any questions and be sure and ask to see the attic. Thank you, Thank you good Mike. luck with it. Thank you. It's time for the home stretch. We go to Norwalk in last week's special feature home, Aisha Syed with an amazing four bedroom, four bathroom, custom built walkout ranch on the Echo Valley Golf Course. Too many extras to mention. How about a view of the skyline, a million 185. Next up, Teresa Knox in Norwalk with five bedrooms and four baths. Blooming Heights neighborhood. Uh, we called it the old coming road. Nice location, quick commute to the city. A lot of nice features, including a wonderful primary suite, 669. Ken Kozlerich in Norwalk with a five bedroom, three bathroom home in Timberview. Modern farmhouse ranch, privacy fence backyard, great kitchen with walk-in pantry, LVP flooring, some of the lower level finished, 519.9. Well, you're next to the Echo Valley Country Club, 
pool and clubhouse near number eight and number nine on the Vale course. Beautiful golf course, wonderful home. It's a story and a half priced at four forty nine nine. dollars Three bedrooms, three baths, and Susie Marker would love to give you the tour. Let's talk townhome living in Norwalk. Three bedrooms, three baths. Again, overlooking number nine of the Vale course at Echo Valley. Clubhouse pool, tennis courts, part of the package. Spacious primary suite here, three ninety five, dollars and J.C. Holt. Jamie Smith now in Norwalk with four bedrooms, two baths, just minutes from everything. Move in ready, ranch. Extensive remodeling and updating throughout. Nice remodel in the kitchen just last year. Finished uh, lower level, 270. Earlham Schools, but an Adele address here. Nick Scar with three bedrooms, three baths. Walkout ranch on about three acres. Geothermal system, just minutes to Jordan Creek. Great setting, finished lower level, nice open floor plan, price of 6099. 19 minutes to Jordan Creek Mall from Dallas Center. Believe it or not, Deborah McGee, open house one to three. Paramount the Builder on the cul-de-sac near the bike trail. Great spot here. Great uh, Dallas Center Grime Schools and lower level ready to finish here. The price is 368. Beautiful setting for this home in Newton. Three bedrooms, two baths, almost five acres. And uh, Jody Holly would love to talk to you about it. The main suite with walk-in closet, freestanding bathtub, a massive 40 by 50 tandem garage, and much more, 689. Sean Preston with three homes to talk about in Newton. Three bedrooms here, three bath there is. Zero step entry to this home. Nice kitchen with pantry, geothermal system, triple garage attached, backyard uh, fenced, 495. Here's another Newton home with four bedrooms and three baths in the Fair Meadows neighborhood. Now, nice kitchen, fully updated. Uh, new roof just last year, convenient location close to the middle school, price tag in Newton of $258. And Sean Preston can show you this three bedroom home in Newton. Uh, appliances stay in the kitchen, energy efficient, natural light, the windows have been updated. Uh, bathroom tastefully uh, updated as well, pool table stays $218. We go to Menlo and Jessica Coyle with a three bedroom, two bathroom home. Motivated sellers here, about a half hour to the Western Burbs from Menlo, sitting on about half an acre on the edge of town. Good price of 292. Knoxville, Julia Watermiller with a three bedroom, two bathroom home, craftsman style, lots of updates, lots of character. Three daylight windows, LVP flooring, nice half bath's been updated, privacy fence, 249.9. This is Ford Dodge on the golf course, Steve Camerona with a four bedroom, three bathroom home, new paint, new carpet, new roof, new furnace, kitchen, and bathrooms have been updated. Good sized deck overlooking the woods behind the home, walkout lower level, all that, 259.9. Sun Valley Lake, 75 minutes from Des Moines, couple of hours uh, from Omaha and Kansas City. Owners recently spent 22,000 plus for foundation repair. 80 feet of uh, private shoreline, nice package, 554. County Ridgeway with an Earlham address, four acres setting, a kind of a hobby farm here on the pavement. Just 30 minutes to Jordan Creek, four square home, modern conveniences, of course, new carpet, lots of updates, 375. Nick Scar with an Earlham address, half hour to the Metro, three bedrooms. It's a two story remodeled, detached garage, all kinds of updates, including the siding, the roof, wood fence, and more, 255. Amy Dempsey with a Perry address. This home sits on two home sites, about three quarters of an acre altogether. New listing, four bedrooms, three baths, a double attached garage, additional detached triple garage, and a price tag of just 325. Also in Perry, Sunny Green, three bedrooms and three baths. Talk about privacy. Uh, log cabin ranch here off the pavement, four car tandem garage on 11 acres. The package is 700,000. Matt Fuelberth with Diamond Head Lake property. And of course, uh, outdoor activities galore, fishing, boating, hunting, the ATV trails, dog park, and the lake. And this home is well constructed and priced at 445. We go to Corridon, Iowa, about an hour south of the city. And Gina Thompson with three bedroom home. Looking to downsize or maybe your first home. One bedroom on the main level, two more in the finished attic. Lower level, uh, great space for uh, storage and a price of 79,000. And Steve Camerona with a Boone, Iowa address, three bedrooms and two baths, open floor plan, living room, dining room, and kitchen flow well front to back, three bedrooms up, double garage detached, scenic Boone County, 1099. Hello, we would like to invite you to Iowa Realty's next career night. 
My name is John Dunn. I'm the general manager for iRealty. And joining me is broker associate Zach Snyder with the West Des Moines Mills Crossing office. Zach, welcome. Appreciate it, John. Thank you. Zach, you've been around this for a few moons now. What would you say are some of the characteristics you see in successful agents? I would say our most successful agents are the ones that have a good, solid understanding of how the real estate industry works. They're solid at understanding of how Des Moines area works. And they're also those that are interested in helping people achieve their financial goals while also helping people understand the value of home ownership as well as the selling process. Yeah. And they also have, they're also very likable. A lot of people generally are gonna like you and, and you have to have a lot of drive. We see that too with all of those. Those things are all true. What we do over career night with just one hour, we go through what it takes to get your real estate license. And some have a lot of drive. They do it in 30 days. Some take 60 depending on their schedule. But we go through all the educational requirements, what you need to have, monthly expenses once you do join, and what it takes to find a sponsoring broker like I Realty. So it's really quite a quick process, but uh, you've been a part of that too. A lot of open questions for you to ask. It's very conversational. If there's anything in your mind that you're thinking, maybe you added some clarification, needed something, this is the perfect opportunity for you to come, ask those questions, have anything that you want to get out, and see what the answer is for you. We'd be happy to go over that with you. And what we have done is we've teamed up with the Iowa Real Estate School, a team of professional educators, plus we have 40 plus uh, licensed uh, certified instructors to help with the pre-licensing work that needs to be done to get your real estate license. But more importantly, the post-licensing work, we hit it. Zach is one of our certified instructors. He does a great job of, of doing the onboarding and also all the docs we need to have when you get your license. But in just one hour, it's pretty quick and, and full of Q&A, questions and answers for you. Uh, you can figure out how to get your license, and we're actually hiring right now. Is that correct, Zach? Absolutely, and we truly pride ourselves of being in that one-stop shop for anybody who's interested in a career change, somebody that's interested in the real estate industry, somebody that's really interested and dedicated to, to helping themselves succeed and definitely understand the process of buying and selling a home. Yeah. We've got locations. We've got 11 metro offices in the Des Moines area. We've got an office in Cedar Rapids and also in Iowa City, so we have it covered. Um, it's a great place to get your license and get started. And it's an easy process to RSVP for our next event. All you're gonna have to do is go ahead, take out your phone, scan the QR code that you're gonna see on the screen, and we'd love to see you out here. Awesome, thank you. Well, that puts the lid on our show for today. Big thanks to Sarah Summy from our Beaverdale, Iowa Realty office for the tour of this 1920s Tudor style home historic home south of Grand on Tonawanda Drive, uh, Salisbury Oaks neighborhood. 598 million dollar homes in the neighborhood and she's open from 1 to 3 this afternoon. Thanks also to Larry Castor who is marketing and events director for the uh, Valley Junction Foundation for bringing us up to speed with what's happening Friday night at gallery night in the junction, absolutely free. And we always love going to Valley Junction, so big thanks to Larry. Thank you for watching. Don't forget us on YouTube and Facebook. Mike Pace till next time on The Home Show. Speaking for Cassandra Halls, have a great week.